hello guys and welcome to this new blender free buy video so i think i finished this custom black theme and i put it for free for you on gumroad if you like it and want to download it donations are always welcome of course to support the free content on this channel tell me also if it's okay to use this theme in future tutorials i don't know maybe it hurts your eyes or something or we just use the regular default dark blender theme so this theme is based on the work of Tim Kreef, a theme called Blender True Black. It was made three years ago. You can download here from GitLab. You need just to download the XML file here and install it. So here in the settings and their themes, you can hit install here and install the xml you download you can see the true black theme here it is blacker than my theme and it has more rounded corners and a little bit bigger fonts mine is closer to the regular blender theme and there is a detail that you may not notice here in true black if you go to the corners of the areas here you can't see clearly where is the corner if you want to join or to split areas but in mine you can see a dark blue line in the corners it will be easier to split areas so go ahead and download it if you find a panel or something that does not fit the theme please let me know so i can fix it and now for some tips about editing and customizing teams so here under teams we have all these settings and this is only the tip of the iceberg if you go here we have all these and you can expand these two and the 3d viewport you have all these and then you can expand here and then i think you can expand here and here every little detail can be customized but it is overwhelming and it's not obvious you need to dig and dig and dig and if you go here for example regular tool toolbar item these all have the same color palette it would have been great if we had like a section for global settings where you can change globally the color to light blue for example globally the background colors to black for example and then you have these advanced settings here also there is a weird thing if you change your team and you want to save it you can't here save change so sometimes blender feels like a puzzle game and not a software or an app that is designed for ease of use so for example i change this color to pink and you see these icons here that change to pink and then i hit save preferences and i think that my team was saved but no if i hit mundo here again i will reload it and you see the change is gone but since i hit save preferences just before i reloaded now i can get back my changes if i click revert to save preferences and if I want to save this change now, I need to first delete my team by hitting the minus button and then click the plus button and type the same name of my team hit OK and now if I change and reload the team you see that I have this change here. So let's drag this color from here. Left click, drag it, put it here. Now I need to save it again by deleting it and hitting the plus and doing this now there is also another method to customize your team is by editing directly your team's xml file and to find that file you need to go here under your local disk users your username app data it is a hidden folder so you need to activate this hidden items in your windows explorer and then roaming blender foundation blender your version of blender and then scripts presets interface team and here i have my two custom teams and we need to edit it in a text editor and of course blender is great and has its own text editor let's copy this path here and then go back to blender let's add a new panel here let's choose the text editor let's hit open we pass the path here and enter we see nothing in our folder and you see here that it's supposed to open script files and text files but no xml files and what we actually need to do is just to disable filter in here so we open this file and this is our file it has all the settings listed here from edit mode find and replace or control f so now if we want to change the roundness for example we select this text here don't select only the value because you may change other values than roundness so select the whole roundness equals 0 0.4 
control C, put it here, and then in the replace fields, we paste it again and we change this to 0 0.8. And then we hit replace all. Then we need to save the file text save and we need to reload it here just click again on mumumundo and voila this field changed here and you see that everything is more rounded here and here also here if you want to go back you go to edit endo and then you save the file again and we reload again and here we go you can do that with colors too so if you want to change the background color from black to something else you can do 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. code for black and then we type in another color here to be 0000, 0, 0, 0 ff for example and then we do replace all and then we save the file again and we reload so this is another way to customize your teams let's do i think revert to saved preferences you see the pink color here is still saved i will just do undo and then save again reload again and voila we are good so this is it guys thank you for watching i hope you learned something today you can download the file for free from gumroad donations again are very very welcome thank you very much for watching subscribe also and leave a like and see you in another video peace